What's up, y'all? It's your boy, J-Mo, man. It's OSF Money. Uh, this video, I just want to give a, uh, a book list, three books, um, that I think would be beneficial to everyone, anyone. Uh, the first book is Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Maybe you've read that one. Hold on, let me, I don't know if y'all got a good look at it. I got my camera backwards. I put a picture. Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. I believe it was published in originally in 1937. Um, I think they changed the title, but it was published way back then. And since then, it's been the number one self-help book since and still is. You know, uh, for my music people, you know, all the moguls, uh, they always uh, mention this book and how it, it changed everything. And... Um, not not just music people, but all kinds of successful people, regardless of what field they were in, they always uh, recommend that book. And you know, I, I noticed that. I, I noticed you know all these successful people are talking about this book. Um, you know, they always talk about lots of books, but that's a common you know common one. So I read it, and I, I highly recommend everyone to read it. It's called Think and Grow Rich. It's not necessarily only about money. It's uh, it's way deeper than that, you know. Um, I I have to say one of my favorite chapters I, I want to touch on that is uh, it's called sexual transmutation, and I know it sounds crazy, right? But essentially, what it's saying is a male's greatest motivation is the opposite sex women. And it's not necessarily, you know, it has to be romantic. It can be your mother. It could be your daughter. Regardless, the opposite sex. It's one of the biggest motivations for men. You know, that's why they get up. Some men get up four or five in the morning and go work these hard jobs. You know, they, they have that motivation. It's that energy. And uh, what, what the chapter talks about is most men don't ever um, transmute that energy. You know, transfer that energy into something else. Uh... You know, when, as as 14, 15 year olds, you know, we start to, uh, you know, like girls and and, you know, we start chasing them and, and all that, you know, but some men don't ever grow out of that. And that is one of the biggest motivations to men. So it's kind of like imagine if you're going to the gym and you're doing bench press. Right. And it's just you in there. Ain't nobody in there. It's just you in there versus. Same same scenario, you go to the gym, you're working on bench, and there's just multiple, multiple women in there that you actually find a know, Do that for six months. Six months of no uh, nobody in there, it's just you working out, versus six months of you going to a gym and there's just multiple women that you find attractive and they're close to you. Um, you're gonna find that the second scenario is gonna get better results. He's gonna push harder. He's going to make sure his form's right. He's going to, you know, put more weight on there. He, the energy, he's transferring that energy into his working set. And um, that's what a lot of men fail to realize, that they can transfer that energy into their work. And uh, Think and Grow Rich, man, by Napoleon Hill. Read that book, man. It, it's probably the number one book that, that for me. And, and I've, I've read a lot of books this past couple of years and that book right there. So Think and Grow Rich, Napoleon Hill, get it on Audible, buy the book. The book's so dope that I recommended it to one of my friends. There's one friend who is, you know, entrepreneur, entrepreneurial mindset, you know, uh, that changed his life. And he and he that book was so important to him that he went and I think he went on Alibaba or, or somewhere and found um, um, some some bookstore. Or I'm not quite sure where, but anyways, he's getting wholesale on the books. So. You know, now I got a box of them, you know, and, uh, you know, he just, it was so important. That book was so, it was so much important information that he felt like, yo, everyone needs to read this. And, you know, adding, you know, he has an entrepreneurial mindset that, you know, he got him at a discounted price by buying bulk. And so he's going to make some bucks, you know, a few bucks. But, um, they can grow rich by Napoleon Hill. That's one. The second book is Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Pretty sure maybe some of y'all have heard of this book. Um, it's 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 a, an extremely uh, it's an extremely great 
financial educational book. Uh, Robert Kiyosaki is a he's a financial advisor for some of you know some of world leaders. You know, even uh, he's a, he's a real good friend with a uh, Donald Trump. You know, prior before presidency, and I mean he's he he knows his stuff, man. Um, you know, he's a real estate investor. That's he's heavy on real estate, but he just breaks down you know assets and liabilities to where you know a ten year old could understand. And really puts things into perspective. You know, the book's called, you know, Rich Dad, Poor Dad. And, and, and you know, in quotes, uh, you know, what the rich teach their kids that the poor don't. And, man, ah, this dude. book, I, I read this book uh, prior, uh, Think and Grow Rich. And that, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, it really changed everything for me. It started making me think different. It started, it started making me think of uh, long-term thinking as far as finances. And I really applied a lot of these things. Um, even, uh, you know, and he talks about intellectual property heavy. Everyone on this channel, man, I really recommend you read that book. And more so, you know what? Read that book first. Rich Dad, Poor Dad, before you read Think and Grow Rich. Uh, I would recommend that. So, yeah, that's number two. Now, book number three, it's a little bit different. Think and Grow Rich is a, a financial, spiritual um even emotional, you know, uh, book. I would I would classify it under those under those. And uh, Think and Grow Rich. I mean, I'm sorry, Rich Dad Poor Dad is it's solely uh, you know financial financial education. And so this third book is a little bit different. It's called uh, Three Magic Words, and it's by U. S. Anderson. This book is straight. Uh, you know, spirituality and, you know, depending on what level you are when it comes to, you know, your spirituality, you might not like, huh? Um, it's something that we really need to to develop our, 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 our spiritual side. Uh, everything nowadays is it's, we're all ego. You know, a lot of us you know the ego. The ego is very sensitive, you know, um, it takes everything personal and, 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 you know, it can be bothered if someone, you know, speaks about them versus, you know, our spirit. Our spirit is who we are. And if we're more so our spirit is leading the way versus, you know, our big headed ego, uh, not too many things can bother us. We'll be much more rational and make much better financial decisions and just just life decisions in general. Um, and this book, man, U.S. Anderson really just breaks it, just breaks it down just to where. <sighs> that 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 book right there it's 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 a game changer as well. I really really recommend y'all read that one. Um, you might want to read that one last because it is a little bit more advanced and you're gonna have to um, you have to come into it a a little open minded but not not too not too much not too much because he's gonna really break things down. Yeah, he, he breaks things down to where it's like oh that's why it's like that like. I don't know, like a like a sign when you're driving, you know, on the streets and you don't understand that sign. And then you see somebody actually, you know, uh, act what the sign was telling you to do. And then you're like, oh, OK, so that's what you know, that's what it means. Da, 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 you know, um, you will understand. <laughs> um, yeah. So thank you. Uh, I'm sorry. Jeez, I keep I keep the books right here, right in front of me. So I keep saying that. No, um, three magic words by U.S. Anderson. That's book number three. I really recommend y'all to read these books, man. Um, if you have, man, drop a, you know, drop a comment on what you thought of of the book that you read, you know, so that others can kind of get some uh, other perspectives other than just mine. But uh, yes, it's a three a three book list, a three uh, a short three list of books. Um, I'm gonna put some yeah, others. You know, it's your boy J Mo. This is always have money. I'm going to be throwing books here and there that I think, you know, people should read. And we're going to touch on other topics. If y'all can, man, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, if you've read any of these books, go down there and actually drop a comment of what you thought of the book. And also, um, or if you or recommend any other books that you think that, that, you know, we should read, you know, I'll definitely check it out. All right, man. Y'all have a good one. I'm out.